Hello YouTube, how are you doing? It's the 23rd of September 2011. The time in the UK is uh, 1639. Okay, so I want to talk about the um, UARS satellite. Uh, today is a big day. Um, we have a satellite impacting the Earth. Now, bear in mind that the Earth is two thirds sea, ocean, okay? So the likelihood is, obviously, doesn't take a great mathematician, anything falling to the earth is most likely to hit the sea. Um, now there is some incongruency, I've noticed, in the media, um, among various medias, regarding this satellite. Um, now NASA themselves are saying that like the odds of a piece of debris from the satellite will hit a person on the earth is like one in three thousand and some odd okay now the bbc i just noticed the bbc news um they've got a video on their website about this and they're saying that the odds is one in 20 tr is it trillion yeah i think it's trillion yeah yeah now there's a big difference between three thousand and twenty trillion a big difference now that's sloppy if you ask me um, I can understand, you know, a million here and a million there, okay, but like, you know, to be out by 20 trillion, to have different information, uh, anyway, it's neither here nor there, because, you know what, like I said, it, most likely, it's two thirds likely that it will be the ocean, okay, um, and one in 3,000 is pretty safe odds that you're not going to get hit by a piece of debris from the satellite, so, um, you know, I think we're pretty safe. But my point is the, you know, the sloppiness and the incongruency of the information that's um, put out there to be then relayed to the public. So the interesting thing about this satellite, okay, is the fact that, okay, well, first of all, satellites fall to the Earth all the time. It's nothing unusual. There's nothing unusual about this whatsoever, apart from the fact that most satellites fall into the earth, fall to the earth in a controlled manner. They can kind of steer it, guide it, control it somewhat to ensure the safety of its impact, okay? That no one gets hurt. Now, I think it's been about 30 years since we've had a situation where a satellite has fallen to the earth uncontrolled and they don't know where it's going to hit. Now, that, that is a fact. They do not know where the satellite is going to hit and they won't know until two hours prior to impact. And even with two hours prior to impacts, they could be out half an hour either way, right? So there's a lot of um, unknowns about this situation. Um, so it's going to be a surprise. Um, I think we're safe. I don't think there's any reason to worry. I really hope that I can look in the sky and see something. I think it would be a, a nice display. I, I really, really hope. And we get some really overcast weather in Britain. I'm really hoping I get to see something. But anyway, so let's look at um, you know the um, predictions. Okay, so um, it says here in an article I'm going to link you to that a UK team studying the trajectory says the most likely time for re-entry could be after 2300 hours Greenwich Mean Time, Friday, which is today, okay, and as late as. 0300 hours GMT on Saturday. So between 11 o'clock tonight and 3 o'clock in the morning if you're in Britain, okay? Um, I know there's people watching this video that are from other time zones, you, you have to figure that out. But hey, who, where's it going to land? Um, I'm certainly going to be looking out my window at about 11 o'clock tonight uh, to see the re-entry. Um, if I can, maybe I won't. It'd be nice. It'd be nice to have a camera on standby, wouldn't it? I'm sure everyone's thinking the same. Okay, so what's going to happen? Well, there's going to be a lot of the satellite burning up as it enters the atmosphere. Um, they say that about 500 kilograms will survive to the surface. Um, they reckon that the largest piece of debris from the satellite that will survive re-entry and make it to the ground is going to be about 30 pounds. Uh, no, 300 pounds. 300 pounds. Okay. And here's a little picture. Let me just turn my webcam to this picture. Here are some of the surviving parts. Okay. Um, so, 
let's get this out of the way now look at that the space shuttle arm big pole wouldn't want to get whacked on the head with one of those I'm sure that will be painful um, <laughs> okay here we got fuel tanks and batteries can you imagine a fuel tank and some batteries falling on your head <laughs> oh dear okay so um, yeah it's quite an interesting article actually because um, it's got a scale here I think it's like what couple about an inch and a half is one meter so you can kind of get get some kind of perspective on this yeah and then you got a dish thing there high gain antenna I reckon that will survive that's probably gonna hurt but hey I'm not fear mongering I don't think it's gonna um, I don't think it's gonna hit anyone on the head but Having said that, I am suspicious about this whole satellite thing, okay? I am suspicious. I wonder, do they really... Okay, they're playing ignorant on this, saying we don't know where it's going to impact. That I'm suspicious about. Um, I'm also suspicious about the fact that it's not controlled and guided. I don't know. But I'm not going to say too much because we've got a few hours to wait, we'll see what happens and then maybe I'll have something to say. Um, so, that's the info I've got so far on the satellite. I'm sure there's going to be like updates throughout the day. Each hour that passes by we get closer and closer. And let's just hope that um, it's nothing more than a, you know, an event that hasn't occurred for 30 years that we're going to see a nice spectacle in the sky some people will take some cool pictures maybe some cool video footage and um, you know it will make a big splash in the ocean I'll keep you updated <laughs>